haven't impacted me as a young adolescent and as a student. It opened up so many doors for me. My mom and my dad didn't really have any education. I didn't know anything about college. We would have stayed within that cycle of poverty that we were born into. For us being immigrants and coming into this country, education is the one venue, the one pathway that if you endure and you continue to push, you'll definitely make it. Avid was perfect for me then, and it helped me build the woman, successful educated woman that I am today. Every day in the classroom is an opportunity to impact the entire life of a young child, of a young adolescent. It just takes one message, maybe one hallway conversation with a teacher that will impact their life forever. I don't know if you caught that just now, but I just traveled back in time. Walking up to the mic, I was transported back to the 2004 Avid Summer Institute when I had the honor of being a student speaker. It was such an incredible opportunity to share my perspective as an Avid student. But as I started to read the speech, my focus shifted to the sweat in my palms. And as I tried to scan the room to find a familiar face, I really couldn't because those stage lights are blinding. <laughs> it created this strange out-of-body experience where my mouth was reading the words, but I was not really connecting with my message. So I kept reading, and then I got to the part where I made the audience chuckle, got them to respond. And I could suddenly feel everyone's presence. And then the breath returned to my chest. And with each breath, I started to connect with my voice and my message. And the audience was able to connect and listen to my story and respond to my message. And when it was all over and the audience rose to give me a standing ovation, I realized I did that. I, Sara Castillo, immigrated to the United States with my five brothers and parents from Michoacan, Mexico. Like many immigrant families, we came with the hope of opportunity but faced tremendous adversity. I was 10 years old when my mom made the decision to escape the domestic violence in our household, even though that choice meant enduring lack, times with lack of food and lack of electricity. All that mattered was that we were safe. So entering middle school meant I had to try to keep up with my classes, yet I knew that any break we would get, I would be working, planting tomatoes or picking broccoli under the scorching sun or the heavy rain. But I always knew that education was important. I dreamt of one day going to college, but there were days when that seemed like an unattainable dream. It was not until I became part of AVID that I began to learn how to prepare myself for college. In AVID, I learned to take focus notes. I got the opportunity to be part of a group of students that supported me through the AVID tutorial session. I became organized, but most importantly, I learned to believe in myself. For the very first time in my life, in AVID, I felt like I belonged. Being a student speaker in 2004, when I was only 16 years old, changed my life when I stood in front of hundreds of educators and delivered my testimony, I realized that I was capable of accomplishing anything I set my mind to. AVID empowered me. Even when, as life would happen, I got pregnant at 17 and I felt the doubt sink in and my career aspirations diminish. It was my AVID family that would not let me forget what I was capable of. My AVID family had not forgotten about me and after graduation, my AVID teacher, Mr. Rogers, and my high school principal, Ms. Allie, offered me a job as an AVID tutor. I worked diligently to learn how to facilitate the AVID tutorial process by asking higher level questions to our AVID student presenters and supporting their peers to follow suit with Socratic inquiry. I sifted through AVID binders every Friday for eight years and often reminded my students that I had sat where they were, and by then I knew all the tricks in the books. <laughs> I also attended UC Merced while raising my growing family to study history and earn a Chicano Latino Studies minor. 
I walked my UC Merced graduation ceremony four months pregnant with my fifth baby. I am truly blessed with my fabulous five. In 2016, I was hired to teach, to serve, and give back to my community of Planada. As an avid teacher at Cesar y Chavez Middle School, every day I gave my best, for I knew that I had to give everything for every student to serve the best educational experience. And before long, I was building relationships and routines with my students which might have seemed monotonous with Monday quick writes and reading texts, tutorials always on Tuesdays and Thursdays, team building activities on Wednesdays, and of course, binder checks every Friday. But these routines gave structure and consistency, and I helped my students connect in an intentionally supportive environment so they could take risks and grow together. Now, as an avid district director, as a leader, I choose to make similar impact on our educators so they can make that impact on our students. In a place like Planada, a small rural town nestled in the heart of California Central Valley, we're all about community. Our community where we involve all stakeholders to ensure that everyone feels like they are part of something and they belong. I am so humbled to serve the community that has seen me grow. I did not leave Planada, but I have grown in so many ways. I am not the same Sara who stood on the stage 20 years ago. But I will never forget what I have endured, what I have overcome, and where I come from. In small towns, it is vital that we do what we can to build up our students, because ultimately, those students who stay are the ones that become our leaders. I observed and learned from the great leaders and teachers in my life, for I knew one day I too would be an educator, someone that would inspire future generations. As a student, I had a teacher. As a teacher, I had a principal. As a district director, I had a superintendent. They each shared their stories as role models empowered me through connection and helped me see more opportunities at each phase in my life. In every community, there are a ton of children, adolescents, seeking and wanting that role model and guide, waiting for someone to believe in them, a mentor to empower them and push them out of their comfort zone. In every school, there are developing teachers who bring enthusiasm for innovation and a desire for mentorship. So now, let us take a look in the room. Go ahead and turn to your right. Now go ahead and turn to your left. Everyone in this room has the opportunity to be that mentor and to be that guide. And through harnessing the AVID mission and vision, we can build a culture and system to make powerful connections among all stakeholders of our learning communities and create an environment where everyone can thrive and feel successful. So as you embark in this upcoming school year, always remember, tú le puedes cambiar la vida a alguien. You can inspire. You can ignite that passion for learning. You can be that beacon of light. You can be that mentor. Thank you, everyone. Yeah.